A lot of the students in my university think that they can't come out of the conservative because they don't want backlash from other students. I don't want to diminish the fact that coming out as gay is a very difficult thing to do. I completely empathize with that. But I think that if you walk into any public space and shout out, I'm gay versus I'm a Trump supporter, you'll definitely get weirder looks for being a Trump supporter. When I walk around with a Trump hat on, I get weird looks from people. Once a burrito thrown at me, people spit on my shoe sometimes. I have a sticker on my laptop that says, I support free speech, and people don't want to sit next to me in class. They look at me weirdly. They question why I'm Asian and a conservative. Well, Kathy won Ms. Michigan 2019, but got her crown removed the day after they said because of comments she made on social media, which the pageant deemed offensive, insensitive, and inappropriate. That's a quote from them. Kathy says they're just her political views, but she also got kicked out of her sorority for the same type reason. Take a look. I was born in China and moved to Florida when I was five years old. I was bullied as a kid when I was in elementary school for being Asian. Of course, I was really upset about that. In high school, I was bullied because of my conservative values and beliefs. It's difficult for me to comprehend that because I was bullied once for how I looked and now I'm bullied for how I think. When I first joined my sorority, I posted about it on social media. Other sorority members found out and they decided to look through my social media and found insensitive posts. Then they told the higher ups. They never told me what was insensitive about it. They just said that my tweets were insensitive, just like the pageant story. I was given an ultimatum, either to stop posting my political views online or to leave the sorority. I chose to leave. I have a very small circle of friends, but they were back in Florida since I moved to Michigan last December. I have acquaintances from classes, but I don't have many friends that I'm very close to. Whenever I'm in class or around campus, I feel like there is a target on my back. I think that people know about me from this story and they automatically assume certain qualities, even though I try so hard to present myself in a nice manner. When it comes to jobs, schools, opportunities, you should be judged on the character and not your political beliefs. Okay, so that wasn't the only, the pageant was the only place you got criticism and deemed as being inappropriate and offensive. What do you think about that? It's definitely a pattern. I mean, we, I mean, right now in society, the political climate is so toxic and it's so um, difficult to even talk about your political views. And I think that shouldn't be the case. I think that we should definitely have an open dialogue. Um, if they, if any of them, the pageant or the sorority, came up to me and said, "Hey, like, why do you think, why do you think these things, and and can you explain or elaborate?" I'd be like, "Yeah, sure, talk to me. I, I, I would love to have a conversation with you." But when people see me online, I, I, I say that to them. They're like, "No, I don't have the time to talk to you. You are racist. I don't want to talk to a bigot. Stuff like that." And it's ridiculous. I have to go back to something I, I said earlier that you kind of said, "Yeah, but." You said, when somebody writes something like they did and I responded to it, what do I do instead? I suggested what you do instead is link to something where you have an opportunity to be more fulsome in your answer. And you said, yeah, but nobody will read that. So instead, I defend the fact that I made what many can think is a glib racist comment and suffer the consequences from it. Do you really discount my suggestion of being, <laughs> of being more thoughtful and, and linking to something because you think maybe people won't read it? No, I get your point completely. I think that, um, I mean, now obviously I would definitely link to an article and stuff like that. I don't think that I should be deemed racist for providing facts. I don't think facts are racist. Um, you know, facts are facts, so that's it. <laughs> well, uh, of course, statistics are statistics. They don't have feelings, they don't have a agendas, but they can be weaponized and taken out of context. You just can't sum this up in 140 characters, and I think it's irresponsible to try. I mean, so do people who say, Cops are bad and cops are pigs. Exactly. I, I think it's idiotic. To, uh, that's not the place to be having a serious discussion about serious issues with serious people.